Sports. It's in the game. Better stand back and watch a run. Shotgun come with the options. And big blitz, nobody blocking. Big win, that's a ring and a watch. Strong in when he comes. And now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. That'll be a 43 yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Patrick Mahomes now in his fifth season with the Chiefs, ready to bring out this high-powered Kansas City offense for the first time. Another big year from arguably the best quarterback in the NFL. And while we enjoy his excellence, let's not take it for granted. He threw for over 4,700 yards, second only to Deshaun Watson. 38 touchdown passes and led the Chiefs back to the Super Bowl while completing a career-high 66% of his passes. He did have a toe injury during the playoff to hobble him, and he had off-season surgery to correct that. We expect this guy to continue to be magnificent. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackle. City momentum, always such a buzzword in a game like this, but that turnover, a momentum changer, no doubt. No question about it. You can sense when things are starting to turn one way or the other. You can just feel it in the stadium, and you can see it in the body language of the two teams. Now here's a throw that's complete, and he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Three yards the game there, second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Under pressure, and he will go down. Set back at the 38. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And Charles, of course, the 2020 season, a memorable one for this Tampa Bay franchise. They make the big move. They go out, they get Tom Brady, and you thought, okay, maybe that makes them contenders. Well, they qualify as a wild card, get in the playoffs. They have to win three games on the road to get to the Super Bowl. And sure enough, they do just that. And boy, were they rewarded by winning those three on the road in the playoffs because they got to play the Super Bowl in their home stadium. So it seems like a little bit of karma. And remember on Super Bowl Sunday at the end of it all, we were just left shaking our heads saying, son of a gun, number 12 did it again. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Throwing now is Brady. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. All quarterbacks are better when they have clean pockets to throw from. But you give one to Tom Brady, he'll decimate a defense. A really nice job there by his offensive line, giving him the protection to survey the field and make a nice, accurate throw. First time into the red zone for the Buccaneers. First and 10 right at the 20. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. But Charles, you, you think about these two teams, and think about how long it's been since we've had the same two teams play in the Super Bowl back-to-back -back years. You have to go back to the Cowboys and Bills almost 30 years ago in the 90s. That's the only time that it's happened in the Super Bowl era. So I'm curious, what kind of chances do you see of us having a Kansas City-Tampa Bay Super Bowl in L.A. come February? Well, you just pointed out how difficult it is for one team to get back to the Super Bowl, let alone the same two teams to play against each other. So the odds are against them, but would we tell either one of these teams they can't get back there? We think they're two of the best in the league. It shouldn't surprise us if it happens, but it is going against historical precedent. But remember last year, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they won the Super Bowl in their own stadium. The only time that's happened in Super Bowl history, too. Fournette. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. 
Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll run it with Jones. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. Second and 10. Now Leonard Fournette. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll make it third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first Protect down yourself, marker. Man. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go with a big bank for that. And this time he is in. Yes. Leonard Fournette taking it in from two yards out. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. So fourth and goal, their head coach gave that offensive line one more chance to punch it in, and this time they were successful. They certainly paid off the coach's confidence, didn't they? And how about the fact that they stayed with the ground game? Because a lot of times in that situation, partner, we see teams try and roll the quarterback out, give him a little run-pass option, and treat it like a two-point conversion play. In this case, they went with a little bit more power and got it done. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 